day six, talking about a really important topic. Are you gonna go for short-term gain or long-term glory? You've gotta make that decision. If you're gonna move beyond mediocrity, you've gotta decide which one you're gonna go for. And Dr. John Andrews is gonna break this down for you. Running through this. Um, title is uh, short-term versus long-term glory. Yeah. Uh, and obviously you start off on page 70, he's got sometimes in order to break through into success, we have to, once again, as you mentioned earlier with the Sky situation, have to sacrifice short-term gains for the prospects of long-term glory. But then you also write, Moses teaches that a vision determines choice. And uh, one of the key things I think, do people enough, I don't, um, maybe when you was writing this, did you think a lot of people don't really have a long-term goal? There's no real, it's very much about the here and now. Is that where we were I, coming from? I, I think that's true. I, I think it's, it's an interesting thing. We're in the middle of a recession. So yeah. in the middle of that, you get lots of conversation around finances yeah. and debt and saving. And some of the stats coming out about the short termism yeah. of people's view of finance. Yeah. I heard a man say when I was years and years ago when I was a boy in church and I never forgot it, it yeah. sort of seared into my head. Yeah. Uh, he said, If you play today, yeah. you'll pay tomorrow. You play to you'll pay tomorrow. Yeah. If you pay today, yeah. you can play tomorrow. Yeah. Now we have a culture in the Western world of playing today. Yeah. So don't worry about tomorrow. Don't think about tomorrow. Mm. In fact, if I don't think about tomorrow, it's sort of, it's not real. Yeah, yeah. So it'll go away. And, yeah. and I'm 21. What do I want to think about my pension at 65 yeah, yeah, for? Yeah. That's like forever. Yeah. That's years away. Um, and, and I get all that. I understand yeah. all that. But the more short term you are, mm. the more prone you are to mediocrity. Right. Mediocrity and short termism go hand in hand. Fantastic. You cannot yeah. be um a person who breaks mediocrity yeah. if you only think about the next five minutes yeah so so I, I i try to teach people this um live in the present but don't live for the present yeah Fantastic. there's a difference yeah. it sounds like semantics yeah. but it's a completely different thing living in the present is me living right now to the full yeah saying I'm going to give my best to this context i'm gonna yeah. i'm gonna do my best because yeah. I know that this moment leads to a next moment, which yeah. leads to a next moment. Living for the present says, stuff the next moment. Yeah. Just it's just about now. the here and now. Yeah. Now, if you apply that to your marriage, you'll end up in adultery. Yeah. If you apply that to your business, you'll end up broke. Yeah. If you apply that to your kids, you'll end up lonely. Yeah. If you apply that to your spirituality, you'll end up disappointed. So you, you can't just think of the moment. Yeah. Every moment leads to another moment, which leads to another moment, which leads to another, another moment. moment. Yeah. And the more you think of the connecting moments, Stephen Covey Sr., who's recently died, yeah. wrote a phenomenal book called Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. People yeah. Great chapter in there called Begin with the End in, in Mind. Mind. Yeah. It's just genius. No, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a world bestseller. Yeah. And that chapter, that phrase has become a mantra of my life. Yeah. Begin with the end in, in mind. mind. Don't just think about today. Ask the question, if I carry on the way I'm going, what would it look like in 10 years? That's a very good So if I eat the way I'm eating, what am I going yeah. to look like in five years' time? Yeah. If I keep spending my money the way I'm spending it, what does that look like in five years' time? If I keep treating my wife the way I'm treating her yeah. now, what's that going to look Love like? Love that. Yeah. Now, outside of stuff coming at us, which we've no control yeah. over, let's say everything remains lovely. Yeah. Then the decisions I'm making today are part of my destiny tomorrow. So the practical that anybody who's watching this video and saying, okay, what can I take? Let me write down who it is that I want to be, what it is that I want to achieve. Absolutely. Not just tomorrow, what I want to, but have that big long-term goal. Absolutely. Who do I really want to be in the end? Yeah. And then obviously with the end in mind, your little steps all the way up to, and that totally. will then determine what you do totally. in, in the short term. So the long term actually affects obviously as you're saying. It does. The short term. And, instead and of the short term. I, I think it's absolutely term. correct. I think, and without sort of we're not talking about knowing every detail of the next 10 yeah. years of your life but we're saying the, the, the further the more long term your goal yeah. the more that can actually help you deal with the details of today yeah. you make decisions today based on where you want to go exactly. not just on right now yeah. so I'm about to spend 100 quid on something stupid yeah. okay if I've no vision for the future I'll waste that 100 mm -hmm. quid yeah. The minute I get a vision for the future, my hundred pound takes on purpose. Yeah. 
and then it's not wasted. I can take a section of that hundred pound, enjoy it today, but I can take a section of that hundred pound yeah. and invest it towards the future. Yeah. And, and and the more you learn to do that with your life, then the more meaning you bring into the ordinary. Fantastic. The, the mediocre stuff that nobody yeah. enjoys. Yeah. But all that stuff takes on energy. Yeah. Because it's going somewhere. Now here's a final question on this chapter. Do you have your goals always set before you? Uh, you hear so many things like people got a vision board, people have got a goal set out written on a board. What do you do? Uh, well I, I, I do. I have yeah. I have long term goals for my life. Yeah. Uh some some of those would be quite generic. Yeah. Uh, so, for example, we would have a goal of being debt-free. Yeah, yeah. That's a very definite goal. So yeah. we're living our lives. Now, we achieved debt-free living last summer. Yeah. And then the Lord called us to here, and we yeah. had to move to Sully Hull, <laughs> uh, where house prices are a lot more expensive <laughs> yeah. than they were up north. Yeah. And suddenly, we're no longer debt-free. Yeah. But we're immediately re-engaged with that plan. So Fantastic. the Bible says that the person who borrows is the slave of the person who lends. Yeah, 100%. I don't want to be a slave. Yeah. I want to be free yeah. so that I can be a lender yeah. to others. Now that's Fantastic. a life goal. Now in order to achieve, that may take 10 years, yeah. may take 15 years. Yeah. But if I achieve that goal, I'm going to save more money than I thought possible. Yeah. And then when I get debt free or as I get debt free, I can actually be incredibly generous yeah. to the world around me. Fantastic, thank you. Man.